Today we're going to be talking about section 3-3 um, found on page 134 of your textbook. So get out your books and open to page 134. Um, the section is called Equations with Variables on Both Sides. Okay, so just as a little review, if you have two like terms like this, 6x minus 2x, what's your answer going to be? It's going to be 4x. Okay, if you have 2x minus 6x, you're going to get negative 4x because 2 minus negative, 2 minus 6 is negative 4, okay? Um, 5x minus 5x is going to be 0, all right? Uh, erase those and let's look at this um, 2t minus 8t plus 1 equals 43 okay so the first thing we're going to do is subtract 1 from both sides okay that's going to leave us with 2t minus 8t equals 43 minus 1, which is 42. Then we're going to subtract these because they're like terms. It's going to be negative 6t equals 42. Then you're going to divide by 6 to isolate your t. Excuse me, negative 6. Okay. That cancels, leaves you with t. And 42 divided by negative 6 is negative 7. Just kidding, it's positive 7. You're going to have to fix that. <laughs> okay. Erase all that. And we'll get going. All right. So if we have variables on both sides and we want to find the value of x, it might look something like this. Okay. 6x plus 3 equals 8x minus 21. Okay. So we want to get all of our variables on one side and all of our constants on the other side. It doesn't really matter which side, except I don't really like to deal with negative numbers, so I'm going to start with moving the x. So I'm going to subtract 6x from both sides, okay? So I'll leave, be left with 3 over here, and 8x minus 6x is 2x minus 21. Okay, so then I'm going to get the negative 21 over to this side. And we do that by adding 21 to both sides. Okay, so we're going to get 24 equals 2x because that equals 0. And the last thing we're going to do is divide by 2. And we get x equals 12. Okay, it's not much different than having just one variable on one side, it's just more steps. Okay, so let's do a couple of examples. If I have negative 6d equals d plus 4, the negative 6d is pretty big. We're just going to have negative numbers, negative d, so that's okay. So we're going to subtract d here because there's nothing else. And we'll get negative 6 minus 1d, which will be negative 7d equals positive 4. That's a d. <laughs> uh, so the last step is dividing by negative 7. And so you get d equals negative 4 over 7. Okay? Hope y'all are writing these down. Okay, let's look at another example. What if we have 2 times the quantity c minus 6 equals 9c plus 2? Okay, so the first thing we have to do over here on this side is the distributive property. So we're going to distribute the 2 to both of these terms. So we'll get 2c minus 
12 because 2 times c is 2c and 2 times negative 6 is negative 12 equals 9c plus 2. Okay, so the 2c is smaller than the 9c, so I'm going to subtract the 2c from both sides. Okay, so I'm left over here with negative 12 equals 7c plus 2. And now I'm going to subtract the 2 from both sides to isolate the variable. Okay, so negative 12 plus negative 2 is negative 14 equals 7c. And the last step is dividing by 7. Okay, so c equals negative 2. All right, everybody with me? Okay, uh, look down on page 135 at example two where it says real world problem solving. It says, you can buy used inline skates from your friend for $40, or you can rent some. Either way, you must rent the safety equipment. How many hours must you skate for the cost of renting and buying skates to be the same? Okay, so we're gonna look at it this way. We're gonna relate, we're gonna define, and we're gonna write. Okay, so we're going to relate the cost of your friend's skates plus the cost of the rental equipment that you have to use. And that's going to equal your skates plus rental equipment. Or your total. <laughs> okay, all right, so we are gonna next define and we're gonna let H equal the number of hours we must skate. There on the left, in a little red box, it says skate rentals. It says inline skates and safety equipment, if you rent both of them, are $3.50 per hour. But just renting safety equipment is $1.50 per hour, okay? So if we're gonna write the equation, we're gonna do 40, because the cost of our friend's skates is $40, and we still have to do the rental equipment so according to the little chart in the book, it's $1.50 per hour, okay? And we're trying to see if how long we have to rent them to get the skates plus rental equipment, which would be $3.50 per hour, okay? So the last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna solve this equation. It's 40, plus 1.5 H equals 3.5 H. You're gonna subtract 1.5 H from both sides. It's gonna leave you with 40 equals 2 H divided by two, and your H is gonna equal 20. So, basically what that's saying is you have to skate for 20 hours to spend the same amount of money on buying the skates or renting the skates and the rental equipment, okay? Okay, one more thing we're gonna talk about today before y'all start on your lesson. Um, we're gonna talk about identities and no solutions, okay? Um, an equation has no solution if no value of the variable makes the equation true, okay? An equation has no solution if no value of the variable makes the equation true. Okay, let me show you what I mean. If our equation is 2x equals 
2x plus 1. Okay, so we're going to subtract 2x from both sides. That's 0 equals 1. Well, that's not possible, okay? So no matter what we plug in for x, it's going to be not true, okay? So this equation has no solution, okay? All right. An equation that is true for every variable is an identity, okay? So vocabulary word is identity, and that is an equation that is true for every variable. All right. So an example of an identity would be 2x equals 2x. No matter what we plug in for x, it's going to be true. So let's try 2 times 1 for x equals 1. Yes, that's true. 2 equals 2. Okay. Uh, let's try another one. Let's do x equals 4. Okay. 2 times 4 equals 2 times 4. 8 equals 8. Yes, it does. Okay, so no matter what you plug in for the value of x, it's always going to be true. So 2x equals 2x is called an identity. Okay? And we're going to look at some examples. Okay, so let's look at this. We're going to solve 10 minus 8a equals 2 times 5 minus 4a. We're trying to see if it's an identity or if it has no solution, okay? So the first thing we're going to do is the distributive property over here on this side, which is going to give us 10 minus 8a. Okay, so we have 10 minus 8a on this side and 10 minus 8a on that side, okay? If we add 8a to both sides, we're going to get 10 equals 10. So it's always true. Okay? That is an identity. All right? All right. Great. Um, let's look at another one. Okay, we're going to solve 6m minus 5 equals 7m plus 7 minus m. Okay, so here I'm just going to bring down this side, 6m minus 5 equals, now I have like terms here, so I can subtract that m from the 7m, and I'm going to get 6m, it's looking promising. 6m plus 7. Uh-oh. All right, so now I'm going to subtract 6m from both sides. I'm going to get negative 5 equals, that, equals that cancels, positive 7. That is not true, okay? Not true, never true. And so this has no solution. Okay. All right. We're going to do two more examples and then y'all can get started on your assignment. All right. How about 9 plus 5n equals 5n minus 1? Okay. What do y'all think? Identity or no solution? I don't know. Let's find out. Okay, subtract 5n from both sides, and you're going to get 9 equals negative 1. No solution, okay? Because 9 does not equal negative 1. All right, great. Okay, so last example. We're going to have 9 plus 5x equals 7x plus 9 minus 
2x. And we're looking to see if it's an identity or no solution, okay? So we're just gonna bring this down here, and then we're gonna combine like terms on this side. So we'll get 5x plus nine, and then we're gonna subtract 5x from both sides, and we're gonna get nine equals nine. Yes, this is true, and so this is an identity, okay? Great. Um, in your assignment, you're gonna have solving the equation, and give you um, a write and solve problem, um, determining whether there are identities or no solutions, and then solving the equation and writing if it's an identity or no solution. Um, Please be sure and read the instructions carefully on each section, and I hope you all have a great day.